And today, State Farm Stadium swamped with Arizonans eager to get their COVID-19 vaccine. As of today, state-run vaccine sites will now give the shot to anybody age 16 and up, although minors under 18 will need a parent's permission. But could we be vaccinating more people even faster? The federal government firing back after we learned the director of Arizona's health department rejected a proposal to start a federally run vaccine clinic in Pima County. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez joining us now live with just what the state is saying versus the feds and new action just taken by the Pima County Board of Supervisors. Nicole. Well, Steve, just hours ago, Governor, Governor Ducey seemed to change his tune, saying he would reconsider. But whether that is really the case, we're not sure. Now, he made that comment after hearing Pima's Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to move forward with their ask to get FEMA in Pima County and essentially go around the state. But the governor and state health director stuck to their guns today on why they rejected the help. So what we're seeing is an impasse between county and state leaders. Pima County health officials say they want help from FEMA to set up another site in areas they need the most help getting to. Last week, though, state health director Dr. Kara Chris said the state is more than equipped to handle this without a federally run site. She said Arizonans could see long wait times and feds could end up pulling from state resources. Now, here's what Governor Ducey said today when he defended that decision again and the response from Pima County's chief medical officer who calls the whole thing unfortunate and unconscionable. Our objective is to get the vaccine out faster and to more Arizonans. We can do that with our existing infrastructure. What we need is inventory. How can anybody say no to an additional 220,000 uh, doses of vaccine um, is, is difficult for me to understand. Now, some concern also coming from FEMA directly. Their acting regional administrator saying she has some concerns after hearing statements made by Dr. Christ last week, calling some of those statements unfounded. Now, we're going to break down that letter coming up on ABC 15 News at 10. For now, we're live in Phoenix. I'm Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.